Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to make a quick video. Regarding a story I came across today. And how it ties in why I talk about men and women issues with in regards to narcissism and evil doers. You see. No matter it be the narcissist in our life. Or things you see in the news. You can see clearly when the narcissist or evil doer will use public perception on what an evil doer is. Regarding their nature. And what one looks like to their advantage. And the more we as a society refuse to come to terms with the fact that women and men are capable of the same horrible acts. The more evil will go undetected. And in this case we are talking about such crimes as kidnapping. And those that sell people into slavery. Yes. That's right. And I'm going to clue you in on a fact. Kidnappers are women just as much as they are men. However. The women that do this type of thing. Use being a woman as camouflage. Because they know or believe that when we are looking for such people. We are looking for a man. Well. Let me get to the story. And then I will get to my thoughts on this. So here's what happened. A woman went shopping at a Target in Kansas with her little baby. When she was in the store she noticed a lady that was holding a little dog. After the woman with the baby made a nice comment to the woman about her dog. The woman with the dog asked her if she wanted to hold the dog. She said yes. And then soon after she took the dog in her hands. The lady that owned the dog went to pick up the other lady's baby out of the shopping cart. Now though uneasy about this. The mother didn't do what a lot of people would have done which is put the dog down and grab her child. And as this was going on. The woman with the dog said. That she was recently investigated for kidnapping. And she began to show very strange behavior. So much so. It drew the attention of some of the target workers. Then when the mother noticed an opening she asked for her child back. And was able to get help from the store staff. And pretended like she was leaving. But drove around the block and filed a report. But I want you to think about how we do things and see things in our world. Did you know in Australia. That if a child is flying alone and is seated next to a man. They will make the man move to make sure a woman is seated next to the child. And there are many other things in our society where we have these double standards as if to say. Men are dangerous and women aren't. Do you think if a man went to pick up the baby this woman would have waited before she went to get her baby back? Probably not. You see there was a level of trust this woman with the baby had. Just to engage in a conversation. With the woman that had the dog. And to hold it. But the fact is. That woman that is sitting next to your child on the airplane. Or at the bus stop with your child. Or on the train with your child. Has the same chance as being an evil kidnapper as a man does. And in the words of women. These are women that talk about narcissism on YouTube. These women have said several times. That evil women pose more of a threat to others than evil men do. Not because they are more evil than the evil men. No no no. That's not it at all. But because they can use the fact that they are women to camouflage themselves from others thinking they are up to no good. I want you to think about something. When these kidnappers that steal children and they sell them to other evil people. Who do you think these kidnappers send to take your children? They will send a woman. They will send a woman because even from the time of us being children. We are conditioned to see women as looking out for our best interests. And those that are going to steal us in the night and we will never see home again are going to be men. So if a nice woman is sitting next to your child and playing games with them while on an airplane or somewhere else. The staff will think. Oh. Isn't that so cute. But little do they know that child is about to get kidnapped. Here's one thing some movies get right. When they show a man or woman pulling over to help a stranded woman. And then out of nowhere several men grab the person that pulled over to help. Only to throw a bag over their head and stuff them in a trunk and then to drive them to God knows where. You have to ask yourself. 
Why do they always use a woman as bait? And the answer is because society keeps pumping the lie that women are by and large good and men are by and large bad. And the results are devastating. Just devastating. Because there has been child after child that has been kidnapped and their lives destroyed or even killed at the hands of a woman. Just as much as this horrible horrible crime has happened at the hands of a man. However. I will say this. The organized kidnappings. Those by and large I believe happen with a woman doing the first parts of the kidnapping. Because these organizations. No matter if they are looking to sell these children into slavery or for satanic rituals no. They know when we are looking for kidnappers. We are by and large looking for a man. Not a kind. Well spoken. Friendly woman. And as a result of this. Thousands of children will never see home again. With that said. I'm glad this Kansas woman got her child back. And was able to get out of the store with her child unharmed. But I think this woman should ask herself. Would she had been so trusting in the beginning of her interaction with this person had they been a man. And maybe if she treated this woman like he was a man or at least with the same trust level. This crazy woman would have never had a chance to pick up her child in the first place. Look people. We need to change how we think. And though you and I know that men and women both share evil equally. You and I meaning those of us that have dealt with evil people up close and personal. But there is a lie that is being pushed and has been pushed down ours and everyone's throats for as long as we can remember. And it's been done because puppet masters have their goals on how they want to shape society. And part of it entails them holding minimal fault to women that do evil. Don't get mad at me for saying that. I'm just humbly reporting what I see. This is why you see story after story of women teachers having adult relationships with their child students. And then going after these child students for child support once they get pregnant by their child student. I know. You can't make this stuff up. Yet though this happens time and time again. The puppet masters won't dare change their narrative to the truth. And the truth is even worse than what these bad happenings that we see go on day after day. It's child after child that go missing. Never to be seen again by their family. And the fact is. The person or people that took these children. They have every chance of being a woman as it is a man. We owe it to these children to fix the narrative to the truth. So we can prevent at least one child from going missing. We owe them that much. Well that's all I have for now. I do hope you had a blessed day. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.